All right, here we go, baby. The saucy swimmer catching a redfish. Can we get him in though? That's the question. It's a, this is a nice fella. It's a nice big fella. He's pulling. Woo! What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. So I just got a new package in the mail. Check it out. I'm pretty excited to show you exactly what's in there. But before I do that, I want to let you guys know that I've been looking for a new company for a new swim bait to add to my arsenal on the channel to give me a better chance of catching redfish flounder and trout. And I've been looking high and low and I think, no I don't think, I know I found a really good paddle tail company to go with. So without further ado, let me show you what's in this box. Oh yeah, check it out guys. Look at all these new swim baits from the Guggen Squad. I got the Saucy Swimmer, the 3.3 inch, the 3.8 inch, and the big old 4.8 inch. Check it out guys. Let me, let me align these so I can give you guys a better look of what's going on right here. Check that out. All different colors I picked up from the Guggen Squad. I think these are going to be killer on the Texas coast. Man, they sent the channel a lot of swim baits. These saucy swimmers, the 3.3 inch, I think is gonna be killer, especially to add on a trailer end of a bugs fishing lure, or even putting on a really small, uh, like one knot hook. Uh, swim freely for micro lure type applications. The 3.8 here, wow, this is a nice color. What is this? This is Gobi, G-O-B-Y, Gobi. Uh, looks like chicken of the chain, pretty much. Again, different colors of the 3.8. I got, I, I, I pretty, pretty much picked up a bunch of different colors so I can have a different type of um, arsenal. They're all, you know, they're all in the darker range, which is really beneficial for us guys on the Galveston and Freeport coast. But yeah, looking, really looking forward to it. Let's see what else they sent me. Oh my God. Dude, check it out. They sent me some top waters. This is the Guggen Squad Hound. Hard bait, which would be really great with grass flats, shallow, shallow water. Has a nice rattle to it. I'm looking forward to using these here too. And this is the Junior Scout, which is a suspending bait, I believe it is. Yep, a suspending bait. It dives from three to five feet, which is perfect for our marsh applications here on the Texas coast. And last but not least, check it out guys. Look what I got. I got some money bags. Um, I really, really, I really like these plastic money bags, the Guggen Squad, really nice logo on it. So it's going to keep my, my lures and stuff intact, safe, and pretty much water resistant. Although I don't think it's really waterproof, but this is going to be great to uh, organize my tackle. All right, guys. So what does it mean that I'm using Guggen baits on the channel now? So real quick, you know, I'm going to be transparent. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So I've actually joined their affiliate program. Uh, I guess what you call is their promotional staff, I guess per se. So they're going to be sending the channel some Guggen baits to use and show you guys that it actually works. And I really fully believe that the Guggen baits do work because I've I've done it before on my channel. I've caught fish on Guggen baits and I didn't even use a paddle tail. It was like the bandito bug and I caught a, a 30, I believe it was a 30 inch redfish in the shallow marsh with it. So go figure, if you can catch big redfish on a bandito bug, you can definitely catch them on a paddle tail. So yeah, I've teamed up with Guggen Squad. Um, so I'm gonna offer you guys a discount code, a 15% off discount code off your whole order. Just use the discount code RxAngler during checkout and it takes 15% off the products. Any product in the Guggen Squad website, 15% off, dude, that's a freaking good deal. And that's another reason why I decided to work with Guggen Squad because of the generous discount they give to you guys, my viewers, the, the hardcore people that support the channel. So do me a favor, every time you do purchase Guggen Baits, use my discount code RxAngler, get 15% off and know that it also helps my channel out because it's an affiliate program. So with that in mind, I am gonna be using these on my channel. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be unconventional, I'm gonna be using them in different ways. Now a lot of you guys are like, well, Guggen Baits is made for freshwater, but you know what, I'm gonna to prove to you guys that you can also catch big, big saltwater fish in the Texas Mars in skinny water using these baits right here. And I'm pretty excited to show you guys. Like I said, I have a lot of plans, especially for the small 3.3 inch right here that I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna use them as trailers on some of the bugs, fishing lures that you guys see me use. It's gonna be a killer, killer combination. And once again, when I use a plain old paddle tail, 
This is going to go on a 1 8 ounce swim hook and going to be a search and destroy type bait. I am really, really looking forward to it. With that in mind, I'm actually going fishing tomorrow and we're going to see if we can catch some fish using these baits right here. So without further ado, I'll catch you guys on the water. All right, guys, we're at the boat launch right now. I wanted to show you something. My boy Mark right there. A lot of you guys say we don't fish enough, so we're fishing together. <laughs> Check this out right here, fellas. This is the prototype hollow point ultra light. I have it with the loose custom uh, light SLP, the 4.9 ounce uh, reel. This thing is freaking, God, that's light. Let me try to juggle it on my, see, look at that. Look how light that is. But yeah, I hope I don't break it, which, you know, knowing me, I'll probably find a door. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten guides, stainless steel guides. Very light. The butt is very short. Not as short as a suppressor, I don't think. Maybe a quarter inch longer than a suppressor. Uh, but God, this feels really nice. Really, really good. Um, well, more information coming soon, guys. Um, like I said, we are in our testing phase right now. This is the first time I've got this in my hands. And also, check it out here's the spinning version i have the ci4 plus 1000 reel on it god this thing is sexy it's nice i got bugs fishing lure on it dude this is so nice like no graphics yet because like i said this is a prototype 10 stainless steel guides wow i am really really impressed man this is a low i wouldn't say low budget low cost but least expensive ultralight compared to the suppressor line like right here this is the suppressor line right here the ultralight um as you can see let me see if i can put these together the big cast so you can kind of see the the difference as you can see the handle on the suppressor is a little bit shorter it's much more than a quarter inch short guy that's like an inch and a half probably uh but other than that the suppressor is going to be more expensive because you got made in usa blank 11 titanium guides more information coming soon guys stay tuned make sure you follow rx underscore angler instagram and make sure you follow old 18 instagram i'll, I'll keep you guys in the loop man trust me because i'm really excited about this line of least expensive ultralight um rods they just came out with all right guys we're here to try out the new Guggen baits so let's take off our old paddle tail here and we are going to officially sling the new saucy swimmer pretty excited man all right Got the Guggen, Guggen money bag right here. I love this thing. Like I said, guys, you can get all this stuff off for 15% off. Use my discount code RxAngular. So let's see what we want to start with. We're going to go with the 3.8. I'm feeling a 3.8. I want a darker color. So this looks pretty good. It kind of looks like a chicken of the sea. What is this? This is green pumpkin blue. I guess that'll work for me. Yep, smells like bandito bugs. <laughs> right off the bat, I noticed it, it is pretty dense. So putting this on a 1 8 ounce swim hook is going to be probably ideal. So uh, should be able to get down there really fast too. Here, And I love how it's, it's slit right underneath so you can easily fit your, uh, your hook in there. No issues. Oh wow, it has uh, slits on top to make, it, make the hook point fit in there so it's like weedless. Check that out. Pretty cool. All right, let's 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 look at the action real fast. I hope you guys can see that, but look at that tail movement. That displaces a lot of water. Perfect, exactly what I'm looking for. All right, man, well, let's see if we can catch a fish today. Oh, they're red right there. He followed my bait, saw his tail and everything. There are reds in here, I just, I just saw one right there. He followed my bait all the way to the boat. <laughs> Those are rat red though. Oh, see, Gosh. there he is. There's a, oh, what was that, dude? Bro. You see him in the grass? Yeah, he blew up. That was like bass fishing, man. That's crazy. <laughs> that was a red, right? Yeah, it was. Oh my God, that's crazy. Like right here, try to no, get no, him. That wasn't a red. You snagged a mullet. <laughs> no, dude, it was pretty big. I, I'm just kidding. Yeah, they're in the grass. Man, I missed them. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, the Guggen Bait Saucy Swimmer, the oh, okay. paddle tail. It's it's weedless, so. Yeah, it's like a, a bass. It's a nice deep hole here, six feet. I expect there could be some trout. If the current was moving, right now we're in a slack tide, so fishing has been kind of slow. We just kind of have to get lucky and throw it in their face. And they want to eat at the same time.
Redfish pull up right over there. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him. Yeah, that's a red. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go, baby. The saucy swimmer catching a redfish. Can we get him in though? That's the question. It's a this is a nice fella. It's a nice big fella. He's pulling. Woo! Oh my god. Uh, dang, he got some pull. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> dang, man, this guy got some pull. Come on, baby. Oh wow. He's a nice red. I would say about 23, maybe 22. But this is a light action rod, so. He, God, he destroyed that freaking, freaking Guggins. Come on in here, buddy. You're not done yet, are you? Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Get in the net there, buddy. Oh my God. Whoo, what a fight. And to catch him on a freaking saucy swimmer. I told you guys, these things work. Get yours 15% off and catch big old fish like this one right here. Look at that monster. Hey, <laughs> look at that monster right there, guys. Jeez. <laughs> Yo, guys, check out this brute of a redfish on the saucy swimmer. He destroyed it. He thumped it so hard. There was a blow up through it, and that general vicinity started just straight reeling it in, and he freaking destroyed it. Look at this redfish. Magnificent species. Beautiful, big football. God, dude, this is so freaking awesome. Catch your breath. Thank you for the well-deserved fight. And thank you for being the first fish on the saucy swimmer. There you go, my man. There he goes. All right, fellas, we just got home from the fishing. Woo, what a grinder, man. I'm telling you what, I think it had a lot to do. Well, I know, I don't think I know. It had a lot to do with all the rains that poured down into our Galveston system. Two, three hours prior for me launching it, it was just such a heavy storm. But uh, yeah, it really messed up salinity levels. I did see a couple more blowups uh, further down in the marsh, but however, I was too late in getting there. And when I did get to that blow up or the uh, general vicinity, I cast it a few times and they were gone by then. But still, a super awesome day to be on the water to try out the new Guggen Baits, the paddle tail that I'm gonna be using on the channel. Really happy, happy that I was able to catch at least one good keeper red on that saucy swim. So I'm home right now. I really, really want to talk about why I think this paddle tail is going to be beneficial for us guys that really target for redfish flying the trout on the Texas coast in the salt water. Probably the main question a lot of you guys are asking is why did I go with the Guggenbaits saucy swimmer as my official paddle tail for the channel? There's two main reasons why I decided to use it. Number one, just looking at the profile of this paddle tail with the big paddle at the end. And I already kind of talked about this earlier in the video. It displaces a lot of water. And um, when you have a paddle tail that really sways and moves in the water, it's going to attract the fish no matter what because it's going to trigger their lateral lines, let them know that a, a, a bait, a lure is nearby and they're going to hit it. So uh, that was number reason number one. The reason number two is because of the big discount that Guggenbaits is passing on to you guys. 15% off by using the discount code RxAngler. Now I've dealt with other big uh, lure companies in the past and I've also reached out to other lure companies in the past and the biggest discount I've seen to offer to my subscribers, which you, which are you guys out there, is up to 10%, but Guggenbaits, 15% off. And that's not only on the baits itself, that's everything online in the store. That's an amazing savings. And put two to two together, a great paddle tail that I know is going to work, that actually does work. You already saw me catch a fish on the Texas coast. And the big discount that you guys get to take advantage of, to me that's a no-brainer because you guys are my audience. You guys that watch the video, I love the channel. You know, I want to help you guys out as much as I can. And offering a big discount code definitely is going to help you guys financially. And at the same time, fish a great pot product that actually really works on the Texas coast. I kind of want to talk about the characteristics of this paddle tail and why I think in my opinion makes it a superior paddle tail to all the other competitors out there. So real fast, right here, this is a 3.8 inch. This is going to be my main paddle tail that I use. I like a paddle tail that's up to 4 inches. This is going to be the closest and 3.8 is pretty much 4 if you round up. 
Uh, right here, this is a green pumpkin blue. This is the color that I caught the first redfish on. So let me go ahead and open it and show you guys. Opening it up, immediately you notice the nice packaging, how well thought, of, thought out it was, and uh, to pr protect the paddle tail itself, so no deformity. The first thing you notice is when you open it is uh, the smell, the aroma that really releases when you open this package. It just smells really, really nice. It smells like licorice pretty much. I know a lot of guys probably don't like licorice, but I do. So anyways, so here's the paddle tail right here. As you can tell, it's a pretty, pretty thick plastic. And as I, as I stated before, with a nice paddle at the end, really displaces a lot of water. Another characteristic that I really like about is the weight of this paddle tail. Now let me show you guys. These are the paddle tails that I used previously. It's the Hoagie Swimming Jack, which is an excellent, excellent paddle tail. I've caught tons of fish with this. Um, and I always thought this paddle tail right here is pretty dense. Um, but honestly, this this feels a little bit heavier. And you know, just to prove the point, we're gonna weigh them. This paddle tail is much denser and much heavier than the Hoagie Swimming Jack. Here we go. Let's go ahead and turn it on right here to show you exactly what we're working with. And you know what? Um, let's change the unit to, let's do it in ounces. No, yeah, well actually let's do it in grams. That'll be easy. Let's tear it up right here. Okay, zero. First thing, let's go ahead and weigh the Hoagie Swimming Jack right here. So you guys can see it. There's the Hoagie Swimming Jack. All right, we're gonna weigh it right now. There you go, look. Five grams, five grams. The Hoagie Swimming Jack weighs five grams. All right, now let's see if my hunch was correct that this new, this new paddle tail is a little bit more dense. Okay, taking it off. We're gonna tear it one more time, go to zero. Oops, I just turned it off, idiot. Okay, now it's at zero. Here's the paddle tail, the 3.8 inch Saucy Swimmer. Put it on. Yep, exactly, exactly what I thought. Look at that, nine grams. So it weighs, what, almost two times more than this Hoagie Swimming Jack. And I think that's very, very significant. So the next question is, why is that significant, Nick? Why does nine grams versus five grams make it huge significant for you? Well, because simple, when you have a heavier paddle tail, number one, it has more mass in the water, so therefore it's going to displace more water. Number two, reason why that's significant is having a, a more dense paddle tail like this is it gets down in the water column faster, so you don't have to use a heavier jig head. With this paddle tail right here, uh, the thing that I really, really like is when I'm working different depths of water, so when I'm casting, I can 100% know that this is going to fall faster in the water column and that's significant because you know time is an essence, especially if you're, you're sight casting red. Another reason why weight is significant is also it really helps with your aim and accuracy. If you notice, guys, when you use a heavier bait and you use a bait cast and you're throwing at a certain target, say like a apex of the marsh, and you see a blow up there, you want to throw a certain you know vicinity or a certain point of that blow up. Having a heavier bait like this will give you better accuracy. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for the paddle tail. I know you're probably sick and tired of me talking about the paddle tail and the Guggen baits, so it's all good. We'll, we'll save that for another video. If you guys are interested in seeing how I rig this paddle tail with the swim hook, just send me a comment or send me a message through Instagram. And if you're interested in buying some Guggen baits, don't forget to use the discount code RXANGLER, all caps, one word, and save 15% off your order. Um, it's going to be a a great bargain for you guys and it's it's a paddle tail that I know works and I'm going to be using exclusively on the channel so um, yeah that's going to be it guys uh, thank you thank you so much like I said I'm really excited to team up with Kukin Squad and um, their Saucy Swimmer it's going to be pretty pretty epic to catch some nice fish on the Texas coast off my kayak or even wade fishing with these baits right here so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I love every single one of you guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one.